Well, that does not look like Soto, though. That is actually Carlos Perez. Carlos, no stranger to the world team. And it actually looks a little bit like our Colombian skaters didn't get the memo that we introduced one at a time. But either way, Circo is actually wearing the blue number 45, second in the line of skaters slapping hands with our, our crowd here. We also have Juan David Fuertes, Ivan Campos representing Colombia in lane number five. We're going to have Brand. No, that's. Oh, I don't know. That might, might have been a late whistle, maybe a misfire of the gun. If it wasn't, that looks like Brand Hall. Well. Uh, it looks like they're going to go ahead and, yep, they're going to charge Brandon Hall with the infraction. Brandon seems to find himself in those situations a little bit. But again, hasn't really influenced him in terms of winning the start because he has been undefeated the past three seasons in the NSC. There we go. And it looks like Brandon's still going to get an opportunity to win the start. And off to the races he goes. It's Brandon Hall way out in front. Ciro Lopez in the second spot. The young man from here in Colombia. Carlos Perez holding it down that third spot. Cross the timeline with two laps to go. And we're going to approach at the bell lap. Brandon Hall way out in front. Ciro Lopez, the youngster from Team LMT in the second spot. Actually, I checked that. Now we have skater number 219, Juan David Fuertes, unofficially. It's going to be Brandon Hall. Looks like Ciro Lopez in the second spot. And rounding out the field in the top three, Juan David Fuertes. 